Hello friends, um, I'm not Clint. I know Clint usually does this, but hey, I'm cuter. Um, so we are gonna do an update around USF today. Um, if, we, if we look over there, this is the universe of love. She's cute. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna check out some Horror Nights updates, some construction updates. I think there's some new merchandise stuff as well, as well as the tribute store. So let's go on in. Nightmare fuel, pure nightmare fuel at the arches. Like the fun, not like the fun, like Halloween nightmare fuel. Like the sexy people? No, just just minions. They're here and they haunt my soul. The walls are officially up around Monsters Cafe with our friendly neighborhood minions. They say bello instead of hello, that's odd. Um, the walls are still up around Shrek 40 as well. So at this point, we're just kind of assuming that, you know, everything in this area is going to be minions because, I mean, nail in the coffin at this point. It also looks like there is like some type of like Minions Rise of Gru like photo up here right next to the band shell stage. So that's pretty cool. Let's go take a trip in the trip store to see if there's new things that I can waste my money on. So this is new. This is a really cute like ET phone home flannel um, and I believe it is by Cake Worthy but let me see if I can check the front of it out. Yeah, she's cute and there's like a little ET in the pocket so we love that. I think these are new as I think these are new as well. We have these really cute Be Good mugs as well as this Together We Shine shirt, which is really cute. It's a cute little ringer shirt. We love her. She is a major need. Um, and I think this is also a cake worthy shirt. They do a lot of stuff with Disney as well. And then this is new as well. It's um, kind of like a 4th of July type shirt for Jaws. But over here, we have the cutest girl in school. It's like a whole Jaws hoodie, which I love because for the July colors. And the color has changed on the Jaws mold, so if you want a slightly darker blue, here you go. A beautiful angel was born, and then she gets smooshed. So these are super cute. We got a new ceramic salt and pepper shaker set um, based off of Jaws and the boat. And then there are still some of the Amity Boat Tour shirts available. Um, I see like right now like an extra small, medium, large. So if you are looking for bigger sizes, we might be out of luck, but these things go pretty quick. And then I believe the only new thing in here is this cute new lounge fly bag. Um, I believe that you can, yeah, you can attach like a strap here so it can be a crossbody. Um, but she's cute. Uh, she's $80. So. If you're a big Jaws person, you'll probably want to grab this before it goes away. So I'm going to have to talk over Huey Lewis here, but we have this really, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is new, um, lounge fly bag for Back to the Future, and it has um, the dates on the back as well. And then we also have a wallet of the Flux Capacitor, which is really cool. I'm pretty sure these are super expensive. So it's really hard to see, but if you look like right in the center, um, there's like a white-ish. Um, that's actually a tent that's going to be for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, I don't know what house that will be yet because it hasn't been announced um but yeah it's literally right by fast and furious so good thing you don't have to go on the ride you just gotta go over here get in the tent so we hopped into diagon real quick there is a new limited edition collectible wand which is 70 um but it's really cool and it has like almost like this braided twist to it which is interesting i haven't seen a wand like that before but yeah you can get it just like this 75 bucks so we walked back to where like the DreamWorks Assassination and Curious George are, but this used to be the old Barney gift shop and there are some blue walls around her and if blue walls have taught me anything lately, it's Minions themed. Um, but let's not hope not. Let's hope it doesn't reach this far into this side of the park, but I'd be very interested to see what comes over here. Maybe new merchandise, maybe like a meet and greet, because it's not big enough for an attraction, but it'd be cool. It's an end of an era, my friend. Williams of Hollywood, aka The Prop Shop, is officially closed at Universal Studios Florida. So it was recently announced for Halloween Horror Nights 2022 that the Horrors of Blumhouse will be a new house this year featuring both the Black Phone and Freaky. And there is some new merchandise available inside of um, where Born is. I can't remember the name. Someone on the internet is going to slaughter me. So here is the merchandise reveal. We have some Horrors of Blumhouse shirts. Um, they're really pushing like these ornaments. You can get an ornament for like every release that they've done. Um, but yeah, this is what is available. 
and shirts are about $30 if you're looking to grab one. Just kidding. Just kidding. I found where all the other ornaments went to die. Um, so we have Halloween, um, the Universal Monsters, and then the first one that came out was the Never Go Alone Halloween Horror Nights logo. And that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed my little tour. Um, let me know if it's better than Clint's. Probably not. Um, but we saw so many things and it was really exciting. And I just love Universal so much because there's always something new to look at like every single week and that's why we bring it to you. So thank you so much. Um, please like, subscribe, all those fun things. TikTok, um, Twitter, Instagram. I think we have a Pinterest. I don't know. But just come and have a good time. We love you guys. Bye.